Some of the models are hinting that hurricane season may start a little early, and if history tells us, May storms are not uncommon. Hi everybody, I'm Chief Meteorologist Chris Justice, keeping up to date on all things severe weather, and in this case, we've got some interesting signals from our models here showing some possible development as we get deeper into the month of May over the Caribbean. Could we have a named storm? Could we have a tropical storm? Or could there be even a hurricane forming here impacting parts of the Caribbean into the Atlantic? We will keep a close eye on all of this and let's break it down step by step, folks. If you're new to this channel, please consider liking this uh, video here, subscribing to the channel for updates, and let me know in the comment section where in the world you're watching from right now. Let's get straight to the nitty gritty here and look closer at what's happening across the tropics because there's plenty going on here that we need to keep a close eye on. In fact, May storms are not that all uncommon, and we need to watch this uh, pattern here because what typically happens this time of the year is you get old frontal boundaries that settle off of the Carolina coast down through Florida into the Gulf, and what can happen here is you get some development to feed off of it. There are signs of a low pressure system forming in the northern Gulf this week, but right now looks to be more upper level driven. But it's actually this place in the Caribbean that stands to be the most active over the next two weeks, and let me show you why. We have a big ridge of high pressure that's going to be anchored in its typical spot called the Bermuda High. There are little impulses of low pressures that try to ride around it. Now, deeper into hurricane season, this is where you get your main development region to start to kick off some activity. Right now, that is not an area that is all that active. It honestly takes a different type setup. So what does it take? Well, it takes lowering pressure. Uh, usually, and there's that Gulf flow, usually it's right in this area. This is a Gulf flow that has some lowering pressure here. It doesn't ever look to really organize much in anything, but you got a little something here off the coast of Florida, Mississippi, Alabama, Louisiana. That provides for a very rainy week weekend and early next week for the, the southeast. In fact, there are some models that show five plus inches of rain across the western Carolinas through Florida. It's going to be really soggy at some point over the course of Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, all from these lows that form here across the coast, mainly upper level driven though. Then we have big high pressure come in. Anytime you get some high pressure, some warmer weather down here, that just like a thunderstorm is an environment that is conducive for lowering pressure eventually and some storms to form. So let's go on out deeper in the forecast. Once that higher pressure or more stable air, or drier air starts to subside, this would be toward the middle of the month. So here we are at about May 13th, an area of development possible here across the Caribbean. I'm noticing some lowering pressures here. That's really the first telltale sign. Just like snow forecasting in the winter, I can give you an idea of the pattern. Is it favorable or not favorable for development? And same thing with tropical development. Is it favorable for development or not? And in this case, toward the middle of the month, it is favorable for development in the Caribbean. And this would, according to this GFS model, foster a low pressure system here. This would be toward the 15th, 16th of May, about 10 days from now. So, you know, far off, yes, but not too far off to where it's not out of the question. So let's look at the lower pressure here. Shows a developing subtropical or tropical low here toward the 18th. It'd be Sunday the 18th. Right now, it would be over the open waters of the Caribbean. Get very close to Jamaica. Then it tries to move up toward Haiti, the Dominican Republic, maybe even west of Puerto Rico right here. This would likely, according to this model, be a tropical storm, maybe even a hurricane. It's got a 996, 995 low. Either way, it provides for a lot of rain here across Puerto Rico, the Dominican Republic, Haiti, western parts of Cuba. All right, there's a couple of low pressure systems, honestly. So that would move on out. And again, watching closer to home over the Carolinas, the southeast here. And again, if we look at that a little closer here, this model, just this week, I mean, there is some lower pressure here. If this were about a month later, if this were June 10th, maybe two months later, July 10th, this would probably be a subtropical or tropical system because the water would just be so much warmer here and feed off of that. So we do need to watch this closely. Let's look closer at the surface winds. What would the wind gusts look like if we do get a tropical system to form here across the Caribbean? Anybody on vacation, interest in the Gulf, or in the Caribbean, we need to watch this. This would likely be a tropical or subtropical storm. There are those winds coming into the Dominican Republic, Haiti. Hispaniola goes just east of those mountains, and seeing the numbers here, we're talking 65, 70 knots. 
if this model were to be taken for gospel, which this far out you can't do, but those wind gusts would be upwards of, of 75 to 80 miles per hour, get us close to a hurricane in status. We need to also watch for the potential of some flooding rains down here. So looking closer at the rainfall totals, this would be a big soaking rain for parts of the Dominican Republic, all right, over toward Haiti. Puerto Rico could get eight inches plus of some rain here. Do the other models show it? Well, they show signals of it, all right? So let's flip back to the latest European run. You got the Bermuda High, you got the same signals here, developing low pressure later this weekend and the next week for the Gulf, not organizing a tropical. Big ridge of dry, high pressure comes in after that, not much cooking beyond that. But as we go deeper in the forecast, I do see a lot of blues here, which indicates favorability for low pressure toward the middle of the month. This European model doesn't really show anything organizing, anything consolidated or, or deepening lows, but it does show similar signals to the GFS model. Now that's one operational run compared to the other operational run, which just gives us signals. It's one of many of recent runs that have shown hmm, middle of the month we need to watch. Similar to snow forecasting, folks, unless you get 10 days out, you really are just giving an idea of the pattern. Okay, is the pattern there? And yes, it is there for development. Let's look at the average of all 51 different runs of the European model. What are they showing? Hello there. All right. Same time frame, the 13th, 14th time frame here across the Caribbean, showing some sort of lowering pressure. This is the probability of a tropical depression. It's not a lot, 10, 20% chance, but if you average all of the different European model runs together, it wants to spit out a chance, whereas the operational European run today said, eh, not so much. And one more piece of evidence here, if you look for all things evidence-wise. Will there be early development? You see it above my head, you see it beside me here. I try to put those maps up there just to kind of show you what's kind of cooking right now. And in this case, this is called the ocean heat energy content. All right, so what, what we have here is this content over the uh, waters here just shows you the hot spots. Where is there an open can of gasoline that would be conducive for some development? In this case, you see that hot spot right where we had the possibility of some development. So what's happening here across parts of the Caribbean is that this is a, a, a spot that is vulnerable to development because it's, it's so warm. And what do you know? That is a hot spot. Now this does change with time. Weather patterns can disrupt that fuel or where the highest ocean content, heat, heat content is located. But right now, it's right over that hot spot, which lo and behold, is where some of our models are showing we could have some development. So again, folks, if you appreciate this no-nonsense approach to forecasting, I'm going to keep you posted right here through tropical season. Please give this page a follow. I'm going to keep you up to date on all things. I mean, just seems like yesterday we were dealing with Helene coming our way, and here we are going into another hurricane season, which, of course, as soon as I know, my philosophy is to let you know. I'll be keeping an eye on the potential, the potential there of some early season development. Hope everybody has a great day, and we'll talk soon.